this is how you make a warp transition in DaVinci Resolve. Now, instead of diving into an actual transition for this effect, we're just gonna use an adjustment clip. So let's go into our toolbox, let's go into effects and add an adjustment clip. I'm gonna hover right over this cut mark right here and I'm gonna go back 12 frames. And then I'm gonna go forward 12 frames and then I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna select my adjustment clip. Let's go into the Fusion page. Now let's add a Warper node. With the Warper node added, let's go into the Warp mode and change it from curves to points. A real quick note, I have turned these into functional edit page transitions if you wanna buy them from my store. Back to the video. And then go into advanced options and change the limits from distant to around the edges. This is just pinning the edges. Now I'm gonna take a pin right here and drag it towards the middle. Same thing in the left bottom and the top left and the top right. And as you can see, I'm sort of just pinching everything to the center of the screen. Now let's animate it. So let's go to frame zero, put the warp strength at zero, go to frame 12, which is where our cut happens, put the warp strength at one and go to the last frame and put the warp strength back at zero. Now let's open our spline editor, open warp strength, zoom to fit by selecting this icon. I'm gonna hit control A to select all the points and hit S. Now with control selected on my keyboard, I'm gonna grab this spline right here and I'm gonna turn it down so that we're creating a peak right in the middle. This is gonna give it a little bit of a pop effect. Now, if we take a look at this back on the edit page, you can see our warp transition works perfectly. 